One of the camera crew's goals was to show the world of the Serato from different perspectives. By mounting a camera on a long arm, the jib arm allowed them to capture some unique shots. Tracks on the ground enabled the camera to zoom into a mound at anteater eye level. For the incredible time-lapse shot of a mound, a circular rail was set up. A camera attached to a motion control rig enabled it to glide at a slow, steady pace, recording the spellbinding footage of the seasons changing over two years. This record of time-lapse imagery showed one of the great evolutionary transformations to take place on our mutant planet. Every day in Madagascar, the camera crew went out to film. They were faced with a different set of challenges, including moving over 1,700 pounds of gear. It took five trips each day to get all the gear to this nature preserve, and another two hours of walking through the jungle to reach a spot where they hoped they could capture the injury on its home turf. And they were rewarded with spectacular images. Though difficult, they succeeded in keeping track of the largest of high-flying lemurs as they jumped across the jungle canopy. And at night, it was the special ultra-sensitive low-light camera that captured these incredible shots of the eye-eye in the trees, showing how they had become so uniquely adapted to survive on our mutant planet. Sometimes filming wasn't the only challenge during production. In Madagascar, no one takes credit cards. These bricks of currency represent several months of expenses. Ironically, the crew was off to film the iconic lemurs, like the ones on the bills. During the dry season, the crew got lucky and captured not just thirsty lemurs, but a rare fossa on the hunt. And even rarer, with a special night vision camera, captured the mysterious fossas mating at night. And for the first time ever, a nocturnal mouse lemur suckling its newborn young. Evolutionary wonders on our mutant planet. The camera is worth a half a million dollars. The lens is worth about a hundred thousand dollars. It's all held up by a two dollar shop cord. The camera is called the Phantom. And in the hands of the camera crew, it captured some of the most incredible footage of kangaroos ever seen before. Oh, wow. As we drive through this country, the kangaroos get up and some of them will hop away, but some of them will just hop alongside the car, which gives us this unique opportunity to film their hop in slow motion. The Phantom can shoot at 1,000 frames per second, which means, to our eyes, it shows us kangaroo movement 40 times slower. By looking at it in such detail, we get to see just how the hop works and what an effective way of getting around it really is. Heavy snow covers the Jikokundani Valley four months of the year. That's when the snow macaques can be found in the warmth of their private spa. Curious and playful, this troop had no problem with their close-ups. The logistics of filming monkeys on their home turf was no small feat. Some monkeys' normal terrain is 9,000 feet up, so hundreds of pounds of equipment had to be transported by helicopter. The rest was divvied up and carried by each crew member on foot on their hour-long trek. 
Only from this vantage would they be able to film the high-flying antics of these nimble mountaineers. And only at the spa with another specially designed camera to film underwater would they capture the first footage of diving snow monkeys and their new evolutionary behavior on our mutant planet. When the crew set out to film on New Zealand's Snare Islands, they planned for 10 working days, the maximum the government would allow on this protected site. But as often is the case when filming wildlife, uncontrollable variables often threw a wrench into the planning. Like adverse weather conditions unexpectedly delaying filming. Not the best thing to happen in the middle of a film shoot, because we've got a, few, a lot more to do in two days left. Then there were the animals who were a bit camera shy and had no interest in following the human's production schedule. Uh, a little slow today, We're trying to get the penguins popping out of the water with our slow motion camera. It's a lot happening, a lot of sea lions in the water, so uh, the penguins haven't really been coming to shore just yet. We have to wait it out. But with perseverance, the filmmakers delivered breathtaking footage of New Zealand's amazing wildlife that thrives on our mutant planet. Lake Tanganyika, an ancient lake that has never run dry. That's why it's home to so many species of fish. A crew of four filmed in these waters for three months. This high-speed camera, capable of shooting 500 frames per second, weighed 154 pounds, and was connected by cable to a video monitor on the surface. Incredible underwater survival strategies were witnessed, and once again, another first was captured. A scale-eater fish on the attack, revealing multiple twists before it strikes. Africa's fantastic fish on our mutant planet.